Poland is in the works to establish a massive transportation hub set to become one of Europe's largest. This ambitious project integrates high-speed trains with air travel and has garnered attention from NATO for bolstering security in the region's east. However, there's a twist. Warsaw already boasts two airports, sparking controversy over plans to replace them. Moreover, the current government isn't particularly keen on the endeavor. So what's driving this colossal undertaking? Is it a genuine necessity for Poland or merely a grandiose publicity stunt? The Solidarity Transport Hub is set to revolutionize Poland's transportation landscape by seamlessly integrating air, rail, and road transport. With plans for 2,000 kilometers of new high-speed railway lines linking the capital with major Polish cities and Rail Baltica. The hub targets a staggering 40 million passengers annually by 2035, nearly half of London Heathrow's traffic. This initiative marks Poland's bid to emerge as a pivotal transport hub for Central and Eastern Europe. While the concept of a new airport isn't novel, dating back to the 1970s, serious analyses, reports and feasibility studies have been conducted since 2000. By 2010, it was evident that Warsaw urgently required a new airport. Chopin Airport, Poland's largest, has nearly maxed out its capacity to accommodate current and future air travel demands. Situated far from the capital, when initially built, urban expansion has left no room for expansion. In 2019, the airport, operational since the 1930s, handled almost 19 million passengers, nearing its maximum capacity of 22 million annually. With post-pandemic traffic recovering, it's projected to hit its limit within the next three years. A new airport emerges as the only viable solution. Enter the Solidarity Transport Hub, also known as the Central Communication Port, CPK. Designed to handle 30 million passengers by 2028 and 40 million annually by 2035. Yet, it's more than just an airport. It's poised to be the linchpin of Poland's transport network, encompassing both air and land travel. The hub will connect all major cities with travel times. One crucial takeaway from the conflict in Ukraine is the imperative for Poland to possess a high-capacity airport capable of round-the-clock operations, particularly for cargo, and seamlessly linked to railway and road networks. Recognizing this need, NATO representatives have designated the CP car as pivotal for fortifying the eastern flank, underscoring its dual-purpose design as both a civilian airport during peacetime and a military installation. To support NATO's rapid response capabilities in times of conflict. The ongoing situation in Eastern Europe, notably the Ukrainian conflict, underscores the significance of advancing this project. The CPK's strategic location would... Now let's delve into the envisioned design of this proposed new airport. This ambitious endeavor has garnered attention from leading industry players with Grimshaw, Chapman Taylor, Zaha Hadid Architects, Benoy, and Pascal and Watson, all submitting their unique concepts. Each design offers its own distinctive approach to the project. Chapman Taylor's proposal for the terminal building featured a striking transparent dome, symbolizing unity and reflecting Poland's national identity. With six floors representing diverse Polish landscapes, the design prioritized functionality and efficiency, aiming to minimize transfer times and walking distances for passengers. Zaha Hadid Architects presented three designs, emphasizing integration with the railway station and incorporating ample light and greenery. Although none of their proposals were selected, the design that resonated with the CPK's administration was crafted by renowned British architect Sir Norman Foster. Under a 150 million euro contract, Foster's studio has developed a design that marries tradition 
with futurism. The airport terminal, railway station and public transport interchange will be strategically situated in close proximity, merging into a large interchange plaza, flooded with natural light, drawing inspiration from the Campinos Forest near Warsaw. Interior spaces will feature abundant trees and greenery aimed at reducing stress for passengers. Anticipating the rapid pace of change, the airport has been optimized to be modular, allowing it to adapt to evolving operational needs. The main terminal, shaped like a key, will be constructed. Looking ahead to the future of this airport, there are doubts regarding its realization. Following Poland's general elections on October 15th last year, although the Law and Justice Party, which initiated the CPK project, secured the most seats, it couldn't form a government. Instead, the Civic Coalition assumed power, composed of several parties opposed to the mega-project. The new government has expressed skepticism about the necessity of the CPK and has signalled a willingness to reconsider its implementation. In January, the CEO of CPK was dismissed and a new commissioner, appointed by the government, initiated a comprehensive review of all activities, objectives, financial commitments, contracts and organisational structures. Furthermore, there have been calls to prioritise improvements to existing airports rather than constructing a new one. Amidst this uncertainty, 